So we've got to work out the area of the trapezium QRST. So we can see that the two parallel sides that we refer to as A and B are 4 and 12. Our formula, which is at the front of the book, is A equals a half A plus B times H. So we will have a half of 4 plus 12 times h. Now h is the distance between the two parallel lines, so we can see clearly that's 10. So that's a half of 4 plus 12 times 10. And 4 plus 12 is 16, a half of 16, so it's a half times 16 times 10. So it's 8 times 10, which is 80. So the area is 80 centimetres squared. Now, going on to the second part, the clue really is that in the similar shapes you can see that the large triangle, because of the 12 corresponding to the 4, the large triangle PRS is 3 times PQT. So if we, we're trying to find PT, we don't know what that is, but what we do know is that using that fact that it's 3 times larger is the length X plus T must be 3 times the length X. I'll just show you that. So I'm saying that this length X plus 10 10 is 3 times x, and that gives us a simple equation that we can solve. So we take the x away from each side, giving me 10 equals 2x, and therefore x equals 5. So the length pt is 5.